All right, so today I'm going to be going over Cenk Uger of the Young Turks running for president, his announcement, uh, a lot of other things too. I'm going to go over a lot of stuff. I'm going to try to cover a lot of ground in this in a short amount of time. Not too short. I want to make sure I get everything thorough, but bear with me here. So the first thing that we have is a post from Cenk on October 11, 2023, where he said, A major announcement on the Young Turks tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It is about the presidential race. And then... During the TYT live show, he subsequently announced that he was going to run for president. We're going to look at that in just one second here. But the first thing that I want to go over is the obvious elephant in the room and what everyone is pretty much talking about when it comes to this issue, at least most people. Uh, Cenk is not a natural U.S. citizen. He is not a natural born U.S. citizen. He was born in Turkey to Turkish parents. Um, so... Technically, according to our Constitution, you, or Jenk, I should say, cannot run. If you are not a natural-born citizen of the United States, technically, you're not allowed to run. Now, me personally, just really quick 30 seconds before we go any further with Jenk. Me personally, I, I just, I don't think that this is, I think this is a bit of a silly requirement. Obviously, I think you need to be a citizen of the United States to run. And obviously, I don't think that someone that's been like a citizen for just like a year should be able to be like, okay, well, I'm running. Uh, I think there do need to be requirements. But I think that this uh, naturalized born citizen thing, number one, uh, they do define it. But I think that the term itself isn't so greatly defined. And... I also just I think that it's really limiting in terms of candidates for the president of the United States. Um, but Article Two, Section One, Clause Five says no person except a natural born citizen or a citizen of the United States at the time of the adoption of this Constitution shall be eligible to the office of president. Neither shall any person be eligible to that office who shall not have attained to the age of 35 years and been 14 years a resident within the United States. So those are the requirements there. And again, the one that technically disqualifies Jenk is the fact that he is not a natural-born citizen. Anna actually, uh, I don't have this clip pulled up, and I'm not going to play it, uh, but Anna actually asked Jenk about this, and Jenk's defense uh, that he has been running on is uh, a Supreme Court case, Schneider v. Rusk, that pretty much states that under the Fifth Amendment, uh, nobody can be treated differently, no matter your race, whatever. It doesn't matter where you're from. You have to be treated equally as a citizen of the United States if you are one. Case law is clear. Naturalized citizens can run for president. Schneider is clear that treating natural-born citizens and naturalized citizens differently is contrary to the Fifth Amendment. Forbidding naturalized citizens from being president or vice president is a form of discrimination that limits their options and treats them as second-class citizens. And then he has a link here. Um, but again, even in this context, and I'm not saying I agree with it, because I, I don't, but even in this context, still, Jenk is ineligible to run for president. That being said, that being said, I don't think Jenk running is a good idea for multiple different reasons. And the main, one of the main reasons I have, and I don't know if anyone else. I've really only seen like leftist mafia talk about this that talk about this like on their actual shows. I've seen people talk about it on social media. But the thing that's that really bothered me about Jenk is this clip right here where he announced that he was running. He's not even confident in himself. Listen to this clip. Yeah. No, uh, there I had not yet made up my mind, but I have now and I have filed I will be running for president. So what prefaced this clip, and I wasn't able to find the beginning of the clip, but I had it and then I, I wasn't able to find it again. It is out there. What prefaced this clip was Jenk went on a show called Breaking Points. Uh, they cover a lot of news and politics on there. And he was doing an interview and he got asked if he was going to run for president. And he was kind of like, you know, being a little coy about it, saying, well, you know, I'm, you know, you know. Uh, he didn't officially announce a run. It really seemed like he was officially announcing, but he wasn't officially announcing a run. And this is where he officially announced it. And it's like, it's like he's still unsure about it. This is, when I hear something like this out of a possible candidate's mouth, if you're not confident in yourself, I'm not going to be confident in you. He says, well, I, I didn't know a couple days ago, but now I, I, guess, I guess I'm going to do it. I guess I'm going to run for president. I need to see some stronger rhetoric from you, Jenk. If that's really, if you're really trying to platform yourself 
like how you're trying to. Yeah. No, uh, there I had not yet made up my mind, but I have now and I have filed. I will be running for president of the United States of America. Um, so uh, coming uh, jank for America dot com. Um, and the idea here, guys, is let's change the course uh, right now. Joe Biden is down 24 points in the economy. 19 points on jobs when he actually did better on jobs than Trump did. He's down 13 points from where he was in 2020. He is not going to win. I am running. Yes, I am a break glass in case of emergency candidate. It should not have been me. It should have been someone else. But unfortunately, it was not anyone else. Uh, And now there's only four months left. We must change course. Uh, the thing that's getting me about this, and I, this isn't even something I planned out. I have a ton of more stuff that I'm going to pull up. I have other clips. I have clips of him on the show laying out his plan, which we're definitely going to go over those because he's just – he's not being realistic here at all. It's really fucking frustrating hearing him talk about a lot of this stuff. But right now, he's saying, well, it should have been someone else. There was another clip of him saying, well, these Democratic governors should have ran against him. Bernie Sanders. I mean, for a progressive like me – the dream candidate, right? I mean, like, the dream. That motherfucker got robbed two times. Not once, twice. I'm not saying that, you know, that should deter Democratic people from running, uh, you know, for whatever. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. That's not the point I'm trying to make. But Jenk, who's someone who, you know, I, he holds a lot of progressive positions that I agree with. Lately, there's been a lot of stuff that I've been seeing from him, and I'm going to go over that, some of that as well in this video that I definitely do not agree with. A lot of things he's been saying lately that is just very frustrating, and it's making me, it's kind of turning me off from him a lot. There's also, you know, some other stuff that I've already covered on the channel that, you know, made me lose a lot of respect for him. But he's saying, well, you know, these people, they need to rise up and run against Joe Biden. Jenk, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. If Bernie didn't get it, what makes you think you're going to get it? I don't understand the logic here. I really don't get it. The other thing about it is that Jenk tried to run in the for a congressional seat in 2020 and where he lives in twenty uh, the 25th Congressional District of California. Bernie Sanders actually was endorsing him at one point, and then he rescinded his, he rescinded, uh, his endorsement of Jenk because of some past comments, past videos that resurfaced. That's a different story, but he had to, he pretty much wound up dropping out of the race, and it was pretty pathetic, if I'm being honest. Also, in that the clip that I just played of you, uh, just played of Jenk here, everything he said is pretty much just what's on his website. But his website, I mean, there's not really a whole lot on here. Like everything he just said in that clip is the only stuff on his website. There's nothing for you to click here. Uh, there's a donate button and a Twitter button. Most important election of our lifetimes. We need a new candidate. Biden is 13 points lower than when he barely beat Trump in the Electoral College. Biden is 24 points behind Trump on the economy. The most important issue. Biden is currently trailing Trump when he asked to win the popular vote by five points to win the Electoral College. I'm all for making politics, especially for younger people, easy to understand because there's a lot of confusing jargon. There's so many people that cover stuff and then it's like you turn it on and if you don't already know what they're talking about, you're not going to understand it. I'm all for being simplistic. But this is not enough. There's nothing. And then his policies down here are, I mean, they're very, very broad and unspecific. It's like Jenk says higher wages, $15 minimum wage. Guess what? Bernie's been pushing for that for a long fucking time. A long fucking time. Well before I even knew anything about politics. How is Jenk going to get this stuff done? How? How? How is he going to get the $15 minimum wage? What is going to be different when Jenk is in there? I I don't get it. I I don't get it. There's literally nothing on this website. This doesn't tell you anything. And this is something, especially when it comes to my, um, a lot of the local people that I vote for, a lot of the, which I'm I'm more familiar with Jenk, you know, but there's a lot of other people that might not be familiar with him and even those that might be broadly familiar with him, as much as I'd hate to say this, and it's right now, it's because of a lot of Jenk's own doing, 
he has a really bad rep in the mainstream media. And that's just the truth. He has to accept that reality. He has to. That being said, now we're going to get into um, his plan uh, and what he thinks he's going to be able to accomplish um, and how he's going to do it, I guess. Here is uh, Jenk explaining his, his plan here. Excuse me. So, but this time, it's a little bit different media dynamic. Mm -hmm. So now, we have a great number of online shows. We have more uh, liberal outlets, conservative outlets, independent outlets, mainstream, like you name it. We've got every kind of outlet there is in online, in radio. Uh, I've been on a, a black radio. I'm gonna go back on to black radio. I'm gonna go back on to every kind of outlet that will have me on. And my guess is, a lot of outlets will have me on. In the old days, mainstream media can freeze you out, right? And then you're done for. They smear you, oh, this guy's anti Muslim, and they anti this, anti that, and then you never get your voice out. Well, now, look, guys, here, I'm going to keep it real. When a sh an online show has me on, the views are going to go up. And that's not Jenk. The last time, the last time that I saw, and I, when I mean, I saw Jenk go on a mainstream news program. Uh, I think it might have been News Nation. I don't remember what it was. I don't even remember the network now, but it was mainstream news. It was him just bashing leftists and progressives for uh, a lot of the, you know, anti-trans rhetoric that was coming out of a certain TYT host's mouth. If he thinks that all publicity is good publicity, Jenk, you yourself should know, based upon lived experience, that that is definitely not, that should not be your fucking plan A. Come on. Jenk, you know how that is going to go. He really thinks all publicity is good publicity. No. I don't need to sit here and explain, especially in the world of social media, where anyone can get anything posted just like that instantaneously why this is a fucking terrible take people are interested in it and and so again and again i'm not saying people shouldn't run i think people should i i i want to see younger people in the fucking government i'm young i'm 21 years old everyone in my local elections they're all just really 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 Old. They're all old. I want to see younger people. I want to see people that do reflect stuff that I feel strongly about. I, I just don't want anyone to think that this video is a, well, you know, uh, I love Joe Biden. I'm all for Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden. Joe Biden's perfect. He's the best. That's not what I'm saying. If maybe the entire internet will say, no, we're not interested in views. No, we're not interested in Jake. We're not interested in another choice. Biden's got it. Biden's on cruise control here, he's definitely gonna win. My guess is a lot of shows, wherever they are on the political spectrum are gonna go, oh, okay, There's now there's a fight, okay? And now there's a real challenge. Mm -hmm. And look, one of my advantages is I am loud. And so that is sometimes a disadvantage. But in this case, someone's gotta scream from the rooftops, Biden's gonna lose, Biden's gonna lose, we've gotta get another candidate. Uh, yeah. I just, I don't think Biden's going to lose. Again, do I think Joe Biden, do I think that Joe Biden, we're about to watch another clip here. Do I think Joe Biden is a perfect president? Is he my ideal candidate? Absolutely fucking lutely not. But do you want to know how fucking horrible the alternative is, which is the Republican? There's no point in voting independent. Independent is essentially throwing your vote away. I mean, you can vote for really whoever you want. And I'm not, I don't want anyone to think I'm sitting here telling you who to vote for. I'm just giving you my personal take on it. There's one, which is, you know, it's Joe Biden. And then there's the other party that literally wants to just do away with democracy. I don't care. I'm going to go for with Joe Biden every fucking time because the alternative is literally the destruction of America. That's how I see it. That's what I truly believe. Um, here is uh, Cenk once again explaining how he plans to actually beat Joe Biden or um, – I, I guess, I'm not exactly sure, honestly, guys. So the idea is to create enough pressure on Biden. And here's how you get the pressure. One of the ways you get the pressure is 
Everybody thinks that I have almost no chance of winning, right? Well, let's keep it real. Everybody knows that, right? They're like, oh, your name is funny. You weren't born here. You're a progressive. You're an outsider, et cetera, et cetera, right? It has more to do with it than that, though, Cenk. Again, you have to look at your history. There was, again, I already went over your congressional run, Bernie Sanders rescinding. Bernie Sanders rescinding his endorsement, that was picked up by a lot of the mainstream media. Especially, Jenk lives in L.A., so like the L.A. Times and stuff like that, they were picking that up. It's not good. That is not fucking good when, again, one of the dream candidates for a progressive like me, Bernie Sanders, rescinds his endorsement of you. It's not great. If I get to 20 or 25, panic sets in. There's no question panic sets in because there's two things that happen there. One, the other candidates go, well, Biden is enormously weak. Right. Number two is Biden begins to realize the handwriting's on the wall. If this Jank Uger, who probably he probably can't pronounce, has gotten to 25, the handwriting's on the wall. He's got to go. And by the way, Anna, the reason why this is realistic is because there are a lot of people in Washington inside the establishment that are trying to get Joe Biden to drop out. I, I just it really sounds like to me his his plan or his idea is that he will just rise through the ranks because he is not Joe Biden and he is a uh, democrat a democratic alternative that's you know i mean he's progressive i guess but if jenk you cannot just your platform cannot just be i'm not Joe Biden that shit is not going to work and I'm not saying that that's all he's saying here, but that's what I'm hearing when I listen to this clip. Well, I'm different than Joe Biden, so it's easy for me. No, Jenk, it's not that fucking easy. We need to help them. We need to create that pressure. Okay, let me jump in. So the okay. idea. So we have more clips here of Jenk explaining. Um, okay, so here is the end of that clip. So Anna Kasparian here, actually, very surprisingly. Um, the voice of reason, the voice of reason uh, when it comes to Jenks' presidential run, she kind of just confronts him about it and says, hey, this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Here it is. I, f I really fail to understand how any potential Democratic candidate would see your run as a sign that they need to enter the race. I really do, I don't see no, it. No, we gotta knock Biden out. There's no other way around it. We have to knock Biden out. So now, the guys who are not running currently, yeah, they are they believe in authoritarian rules, right? If the dear leader, Joe Biden says, I don't care if I'm 90 or 200, you will bow, they bow. And that is not what a Democrat is supposed to be. We're not supposed to bow down to authority. We're no. supposed to challenge authority. Well, they're so, doing, but when it, you say they're the doing it to protect our democracy, Jake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Democracy yeah. is under threat, so. Yeah, if you're, if you're one of those Democratic governors, don't you ever dare say, the democracy is under threat and not run against the guy who has almost no chance of winning. You were giving the election to Donald Trump. I'm not going to do it. I'll do anything to make sure that doesn't happen. By the way, if you agree, just it doesn't matter what your politics is. Just send in a dollar at jenkforamerica.com as like a protest. Oh, please, another candidate. Please, me or anyone else. Okay, so. So, and that ending right there where he said, please send a dollar, please donate to um, my campaign is ultimately where I'm seeing a lot of the discourse and a lot of the negativity coming in against Jenk. Mostly because, you know, he's asking for money and after all of the reasons I've listed here, you know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, Jenk knows he's not going to win. This is a grift and, you know, he's just doing this for attention and he wants money. I'm not gonna get into that. I, I don't. I do honestly, and based on what I've seen today, I personally don't even think Jenk has a lot of faith in himself. I think that ultimately, him running. Uh, also, really quick before I say this, uh, to his comment about if you're one of those Democratic governors and you're not running, something that 
this is an example. Something that people have been criti- very critical of Ron DeSantis is, and when I say people, I mean hardcore Republicans that like Ron DeSantis, been very critical of him because he has been campaigning for president, and a lot of people think he, you know, wasn't really doing his duties as governor that well while he has been campaigning. There's he's lost. Uh, well, at least this is the rhetoric on social media. Uh, there's a lot of people that you know say that they're losing support for DeSantis because they think he's running around campaigning too much. There are a lot of these people, and not everybody can sit there and campaign for president. It's just not a realistic thing. You know, Jenk says, well, you know, if you're one of those Democratic governors, and you know, not every state has a Democratic governor. I'm not saying that, but he says if you're one of those Democratic governors and you're not running against Joe Biden, then uh, you know you're bowing down to authoritarian rule. I just. I don't I don't see how he's going to get ahead with that kind of rhetoric. And I, I want a strong candidate up there. Don't get me wrong. You guys know how s- strong I am in my videos. I sit here and I, I, you know, I say crazy shit, okay? I'm really strong. I, sh- I, I word a lot of my takes very strongly. I am a very emotional person. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, this just isn't realistic. It's not realistic, and I think what I'm going to end it on... Well, I have two more things I'm going to go over here. Um, this is something that's just... When I see it, it just... It makes me not It makes me not want to vote for Jenk. It makes me not want to support him. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sitting here saying, like, oh, oh, yeah, I support his run. That's not why I'm saying that at all. But this clip, this is a clip, oh, can't even see it. This is a clip of Jenk who went on Hassan's stream. Uh, it was either the 4th or the 2nd of October. I can't remember now. Um, but he went on there, and they, uh, he's been on the stream multiple times before. And, you know, sometimes they debate, you know, most of the time they're just having a good time. But they, they actually did get into a it, was a, it was a pretty heated discussion. Not too heated, but... Uh, Jenk and Hassan start talking about the crime issue, and Hassan was making the argument, stating the facts, that crime has actually been going down. And Jenk was sitting there arguing, no, it's not. He was arguing that we had an under-imprisonment problem in the U.S., which is something that I was really fucking just off the wall about because I thought that that was one of the worst takes that I've ever heard from any progressive ever. That's definitely not true. But he sat here, and this isn't the entire clip, this is only a 40-second clip, but he started talking about one of his neighbors and this story that they had about something that happened to them, and Hassan was like, that's just an antidote, you have to look at the actual fucking facts, and Jenk was just like, I don't care about the evidence, that's literally what he says. I just, that is exactly, that's exactly what my entire thing is here on this channel, and yes, I do interject my opinions a lot, but... When I sit here, I want to present you guys with factual, real evidence. I don't want to sit here and mislead, lie. I don't care who's watching. I want to present the facts as they are. And that's exactly what Hassan did here. And Jenk said, I don't care. I don't believe that. And that is exactly, and I mean exactly what Republicans do. That's what the guy that I debated, and if you haven't watched my debate, I definitely recommend you go check it out. Go to my channel and just search debate under videos. You will definitely see it. It's very recent. That is what the guy that I debated fucking kept saying when I kept presenting him with facts. He kept saying, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You're not going to win like that. You're not going to win like that. It's not recidivism. Ah, so you're just talking past reality. You guys are going Wait, into what? the... Hold on, hold on, that. hold on. You guys are going into stores. Guys are harassing people on the streets, etc., and they're walking, brother. They're walking. And that's why they're coming back and doing it again and again and again. If you say that's not happening, you're arguing against reality. And that's that's exactly what I'm saying here. Us, that's not reality. That's not the reality that I live in. Crazy, man. No, no. Saddens me to see you go along with mainstream media narratives yeah. that are inherently reactionary. It's not, Haas, you're not living in reality. But if you think a general voter watches this and thinks that they would vote for you, you're totally detached from reality. No, Jenk. No. I, 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 can't, I, I can't even sit here and humor this at all. So backwards. So, so detached. I, I don't know. After watching that clip, that made me not want to vote for Jenk. I will vote for Hassan any day over Jenk, which Hassan's, you know, he's, he's not running or anything, but... 
that's where I'm at with it. I wanted to go over it. I know I posted a poll asking uh, if I should go over it, but I wanted to go over it. I haven't seen too many people talk about it. Oh, also, last thing. I know I keep saying last thing. Um, Jenk actually went on, if you guys haven't seen this, Jenk actually went on David Pakman's show and was actually, you know, they had a debate. Uh, it's a pretty civil debate. David Pakman's a, a very, very nice man from what I've seen. Um, but uh, if you haven't watched it, definitely go check it out. Uh, Pakman did a really, really incredible job, actually, in my opinion, of kind of, you know, really fucking up Jenk's arguments here. I, I think it's a really great debate. I think you should definitely go and check it out if you haven't seen it. I think Pacman does a really, really great job. He's super polite, more polite than I would de uh, would definitely be and definitely am. Um, but go check that out. Um, I think that that's also a really interesting piece. It's 20 minutes long, so I don't want to I don't, I don't want to spoil any of it for you guys. That's going to be it for the video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Press that bell. Turn on all notifications so you guys never miss an upload.